Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you smile. This is the road to Guangdong. <laughs> I have Arthur here grinning at me like a Cheshire cat. Is the really name Dong? Ding Dong? Guangdong. Or Guangdong. Guangdong. Anyway, so, yeah, this is what the game is. <sighs> Oh look, we've got a clap in her hands. <laughs> well, oh, we here we are. Oh, these are all Baba and Mama's things. Baba! <laughs> Baba must be Grandma. No, Mama is Grandma. Well, then who's Baba? Your Baba kept his storage for his old things, so Baba must be Grandad. Oh, Grandma and Grandpa, okay. Yeah. I put more of their things here after the accident. You can take your time to sort through them later. Today we're here just to collect the car. Oh, that's a nice car. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I thought Baba got rid of Sandy years ago, so the car's got a name. Sandy baby. Your Baba and Grandma couldn't bear to sell her. She's been here all this while. Wait a minute. So Baba's grandpa, maybe Guma must be grandma, and then so that's your mom. I'm so confused. Uh, so I think it's supposed to be your mom. Okay. So, do I click, can I look through his stuff, or is Sandy still working? I think we should start top down. Yeah, maybe you'll find something for Sandy in there. Can I look through some of Baba and Mama's things? Yes, but not right now. <sighs> oh. Oh, okay. We're late already. Okay, so is Sandy still working? Aya. That's what we need to find out. You need to bring her to the mechanic. Where is the mechanic? He's at Gia? Gia U Garage. Tell him that Grace Tong sent you. You need to fill Sandy's oil and petrol before you go. How do I fill Sandy? How do I fill Sandy? The petrol cap is above the back wheel on the passenger side inside a flap. The oil cap is on top of the engine under the bonnet. To fill one, just look straight at it, check it, then choose a refill option. Okay. So, let's open that. Where's the oil filter? Oil. So you have some oil in there already. Yeah. So that's the oil filled. Uh, wrong way. <coughs> oh, there's a petrol cab. And then we'll refill. There we go. She's all refilled. Good. Sandy, safe to drive now. Well, that's good. I'll go now then. How do I get there? It's very easy. Turn onto the main road and stay on it. You'll see it on your right after about five minutes. Give a mechanic this note. You won't need to pay him. He'll give you an invoice when he's done. Okay, I'll go now. Oh, cool. Start the car. Oh, don't hit that van. Whoa, slow down. At least you're driving on the right side of the road. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you might. Ah! Oh, jeez! Why is that light flashing? I don't know. You arrived at a mechanic. Hello? Oh, hello. 
I didn't mean to startle you. No problem. How can I help you? Gris Tong sent me. My guma is Gris Tong. She said you'd be expecting me. I have a note from her. Let me see. She wants me to invoice her. Just once I asked her for a favour for a last minute reservation on Valentine's Day and she's never let me hear the end of it. Ha ha, yes, she's like that. You must be Peter's daughter. Yes, you know my father. <laughs> yes, he was a good man. I used to see him quite often because of Sandy. I'm very sorry to hear about the accent. Ooh, I wonder what the accent was. Thank you. I guess you know Sandy well, too. Ah, yes. My father used to take care of Sandy until I took over the family garage. Now, we better have a look at how Sandy is doing. Hmm. Max Madame Tong has set a maximum amount she wants to spend. As a favour, I'll only charge you for labour and I'll give you access to some spare parts for free. Let me show you what needs fixing and you can choose what you want to do until you run out of money. Aya! Your guma also wants me to talk you through what I'm doing. I think she wants you to learn how to look after Sandy in case she breaks down on the road. What? I know nothing about cars. Don't worry, I'll talk you through it. If you're gentle with Sandy when you're driving, she'll still manage well. She just needs some attention and care. There's actually quite a lot that you can fix yourself. You really only need a mechanic for the big stuff like engines or gearboxes. I'll, <coughs> <coughs> I'll do a full check and give you advice about what needs attention and how much it'll cost, starting from the most severe problems. I'll be here when you're ready to start. You know, like that part where you hit the cement barrier on the side of the road? <laughs> Work on car. Car is not drivable. Oh, dear. <coughs> so, we need to replace the air filter. There we go. We go back to the other one, previous advice. Car is not drivable, why? Because it needs all sorts of different things. Oh, well, well, go back. Yeah, but see, go back. <coughs> see advice details. I need oil. Oh, already? I only filled it up. Well, you topped it off, but it needs an oil. It probably needs fresh oil. <coughs> okay, well, that's all the oil I've got. So the severity is low on that one. The severity is low on this one. Oh, this is critical. Let's change the wheels. <coughs> Wait. I thought I changed the wheels. Ah. Oh. Do I have to? Obviously I do. Sandy's tires are shizzled. Fan belt is critical. Wow. She's in bad shape, honey. She's in very bad shape. This wheel is high. This is moderate. I haven't got another engine, so I can't change that. That's moderate. That's low, that's low, that's moderate. Okay, so I think I've fixed everything that I can. So you can't fix the engine? There's nothing you can do with it? Change the filter. I can't. I don't think I've got one. No, I don't have one. I've changed everything that I can that I've got. Yeah. There you go. That wasn't too hard, was it? I think that's all you need to do now. Ooh. I think I'm done. You're I think I'm all done for now. Yes, your car should be good for a road at least for a while. You seem quite comfortable around the car. I think you did really well repairing Sandy. Yes, 
Thanks for showing me. I hope Sandy doesn't break down too often. Oh, before I forget, here's the invoice for Madame Tong. She might complain that it's expensive, but all the work was necessary. Sandy still needs a new oil filter, but you should be able to... You should be okay to drive it back tonight. I'll order a filter from my supplier and it'll be here when you come back to pay the invoice. Will it be safe? Are you sure it's safe to drive? Don't worry, it'll be fine to drive to a restaurant and back. Bye then. Thanks for your help. I'll be back to pay the invoice and pick up the oil filter. No problem. Remember not to rev it too hard or you might run out of oil. Okay, bye. Drive slowly. Slow down. I am slow. Sandy's kind of a heap. Yeah, I know. It reminds nope. me of your car, actually. My car's not that bad. Finally got you guys got it done. We nailed it. We got it. We got it. Took it around for a test drive. It worked. Check us out then. Dee dee dee. I'm driving back to the restaurant. Oh no. But why is my car stopping? No. What's it doing? No. Are you out of fuel? I can't be. I've only driven from it. No. What is that game called? Oh no! Oh. Why did it break? Okay. I don't know! We'll get to see oh no! Oh. Hang on. Alright, we'll catch you later. I'm gonna check. I've, I've, I've broken the car! All done, you can get help here. Phew, now we can get the car repaired. That was expensive, you need to drive more carefully. I hope Sandy is alright, she's getting old. Aya, Guma is older, but you don't see me complaining. Don't forget to fill up the petrol and oil before we leave here. Oh, Aya, maybe we should just scrap Sandy. Hi, welcome to GIU Garage, what can I do for you? Repairs. Repairs? Sure. Come through to a workshop. Hi, this is our workshop. I give fixed price quotes for your repairs, no hidden extras. So what do you need? Check car. Car is not drivable. Oh, the oil went! You told us it would be okay. I... Why is it not, not enough money? I can't fix my car! Oh. <laughs> Are you... Oh. You know what I'm going to have to do? What? I'm going to have to sell something. I don't own any car parts! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Um... Ah! Here we go. Sandy is all fixed and I have the invoice from the mechanic. That's expensive. Hmm, looking at all work done, but he did give us a really good discount. Yes, he's ordering an oil filter too. I'll be there when we go back to pay the invoice. That's soon. Good, good. Hmm, I think we need to get spare parts too. Sandy is old. Won't that cost even more money? Hmm. His girlfriend really liked our dim sum the last time we were there. I know, we can give him a voucher for our special yum cha package which you can use to impress his future in-laws. Here, look after it for me. I'm sure he'll be really happy with that. It's good to keep good relationships. They've done so much for Sandy. Yes, he said. Guma, why are we preparing Sandy for a long trip? 
Come and sit with Guma, I'll explain. This restaurant has been in the family for a long time. It was given to your father because he was the eldest son. So when he left it to you in his will, it came as a bit of a shock to the family. Baba never mentioned it before, Guma. None of us expected it either. So we need to do this properly. We need to convince everyone that you're ready for this. But how? We will visit everyone to get their blessings. Your father used to host a spring festival reunion dinner every year at a restaurant. So you need to do this now. I remember that, though I haven't been back for spring festival in the last few years. And the last few reunion dinners have been quiet. It'll be good to get everyone together again. Yes. Oh, and every member of the Tong family has a secret recipe. Maybe you can try to get them and learn how to make them. It'll help you be a better chef, understand the Tong family cuisine better. And if we can put them on the menu, it could even help the restaurant. I've so much to learn, Guma. Yes, and you need to work hard. Why did Baba leave me the restaurant? Ha! I don't know. It's not going to be easy, but I know you'll do your best, and that's all that matters. Thank you, Guma. I never imagined working here. It was always just helping Baba during my holidays. You're so lucky. Some of us work hard all our lives, and we don't get such an opportunity. Guma will help you, but you have to listen to Guma and work hard. Yes, Guma. Why, why don't you drive, Guma? Why don't you drive anymore? I thought you didn't know how to drive. It, is it so hard driving your Guma around? No, but... But what? Guma has done plenty of driving. Now it's your turn. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Use Sonny's insight. I didn't mean to upset you. The mechanic said that you drove. Hmm, the mechanic is such a gossip. I used to love driving. We bought Sandy for a restaurant when I was younger than you are. Wow. Mama didn't know, but your Baba and I would often sneak out late at night. We would drive <laughs> quite far to try new food stalls that we heard were good. When did you give Baba the car? When I went to study, your Baba was nearly running the restaurant then. He loved Sandy, so I knew that he'd take care of her very well. Baba never told me. Aya, it's so long ago. Before I forget, here's the money I set aside for this trip. Use it to pay the mechanic and keep the rest for any expenses we need later. Spend it wisely. When it runs out, we'll have to come back here. Okay. Guma? What? I'm glad we're doing this trip together. Aya, it's such a waste of time. I'm already aching thinking about how long the drives will be. Let's go then. Are we ready? Guma is always ready. Are you? Yes, I think so. Then what are we waiting for? Nothing, Guma. Let's go. So, I don't think Sandy won't... I'm going to have to get help to go to the garage already because Sandy has no oil. My twin runs this garage. He's very trustworthy. Phew, now we can get the car repaired. That was expensive. You need to drive more carefully. It wasn't my fault. We only have 825 left. I hope Sandy is all right. She's getting old. Aya! Guma is older, but you don't see me complaining. Don't forget to fill up the petrol and oil before we leave here. Okay, so we need to go and see the mechanic. Hiya. Welcome to GU Garage. What can I do for you? I need petrol and oil, please. I need some more petrol. And I think I need some more oil. Oil. Okay. Fill petrol. Fill oil. Thanks for buying local. Okay, let's go and see if she needs any repairs. Hi, this is our workshop. 
I give fixed price quotes for repairs, no hidden extras. So what do you need? Check car. So she's at moderate right now. Right, we do need to get that replacement. Okay, so she's fine to drive right now. Car. Thanks for your help. Okay, bye. Are you ready? Are you asking me of a car? <laughs> Are we going now? Yes. <laughs> Madame Tong. Sunny! Hello again. Thanks for your hard work, Sunny. Sunny has some money for you. Nice to see you, Madame Tong. You look well. I've got the new oil filter for you, Sunny. My supplier brought some discounted stocks, so I have lots of other spare parts too, if you would like to look at them. Thanks for all your help. You know Sandy better than anyone. It's good to have her working again. Yes, thanks so much and for teaching me about the car. Here's the money we owe you. Thanks, Sonny. Now, about this oil filter. I think we should get some spare parts for the journey too. You said you got some discounted stock from your supplier. Yes, they're good new parts. Hmm, your girlfriend seemed to enjoy our dim sum the last time you brought her. If you give us some of the parts we need, we can offer you a voucher for our special yum char package. You can bring your future in-laws. I'm sure it'll really impress them. Ah, Madame Tong, always straight to the point. Also, always women offer, I cannot refuse. Let me know when you get back from your road trip and I'll bring my girlfriend and her family for yum char then. I must at least introduce them to the both of you. Good, good. Make sure you consider our restaurant for your wedding banquet, yeah? Guma! Haha, <laughs> Madame Tong likes to joke. No joke. I'm sure my girlfriend will be pleased with my efforts to impress her parents. Now let's fit this oil filter and get you on the road. Let Sunny fit the part she needs a practice. Uh, sure. It's probably a good idea since you're going on quite a long road trip. Yes, you've already taught me lots in the last session. So hopefully I'll be much quicker this time. Great. Huh. Now you just need to open the bonnet and look around until you see the oil filter. It's a small cylinder on the right of the engine. Just like look at it and check it. When you've checked it, you can choose to replace it with a new part just like when I showed you before. Good. And don't forget the spare parts. Of course, I'll put them in the boot while Sunny fits a new oil filter. Work on the car. So we'll open the boot. Okay, so it's round here somewhere. Oh, there's the oil filter. And we'll replace it. There we go. Shut that. Well done, you've got it. Do I need tools? Will I need any tools for this? I'll hand you ev anything you need. Also, I checked your car's boot earlier and it has all the tools you'll need on the road too. We need to get going. We need to get going. Will Sandy be okay now? Yes, your car is ready for you to start your trip. Thanks for your help. We really appreciate it. Yes, seems like Sunny is as good as her barbar when it comes to the car. I hope she is as good as good chef. What? I hope she is as good a chef as a mechanic. No problem. Uh oh. Just remember to give Sandy care and attention and she'll be good. We'll see you soon. We'll see you at the restaurant when we're back. Yes, I'm sure my girlfriend will be thrilled. Don't forget to book. Ha ha, of course, Madame Tong. Bye then. Bye then. Safe journey. Remember to watch your dashboard gauges when you are driving. Aya. It's so late. I was hoping to be at our first stop by now. Visit Mama. Are we visiting Mama first? I haven't seen her since the funeral. Oof, no. But she and mm, Suck live so close by. I've made plans with some Suck. <laughs> it's all been planned. <laughs> okay, Guma. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
God. Where is Sumsuk's place? It's. I think it's pronounced Suk. He's in Foshan. Do you remember his kung fu school? Well, yes, I spent a summer training with him. Good. Let's see if you remember the way. Okay, so start my engine. Drive slowly. Watch your gauges. I can see my gauges. Okay, so your oil is on the left. Then you have gas. Okay, slow down because your temp's going up. Slow down. Keep it in the green. When it goes into yellow, you're overheating. Oh, slow down. Keep it in the green. There you go. Now you're taking care of it. I think you kept overheating the engine, which is why the oil was burning off. When you overheat the engine, the oil will burn faster. Okay, but like... Okay. I wonder what those little pictures are hung on the sides. I don't know. Slow down a little bit. You're running in the yellow. I'm barely moving. There you go. Pull over to the right. Like, pull over to the right and... Oh, Lord. At least Sandy has big bumpers. What's Yache Hole? Um, how do you back up? There you go. I don't know. It doesn't back up very well. I'm a little nervous about giving you driving lessons. Why? You have to ask? Yes. <laughs> Is the sun going down? This game, I like the graphical style of this game. Yeah. It does remind me of Jalopy, but it's actually a lot more detailed. And I love the colors. I love those purplish, like, very retro looking. Yeah. Like, it's full retro colors. You are running really low on gas. I know. Are you ever able to stop the car and get out and do stuff? I don't think so. Check the engine temperature often. If it seems hot, you'll need to check the fan belt. Sandy can't cool down. If it's dark, you should put the headlights on. There we go. Oh, that's really cool. Look at the graphics. I like it. I wish you could drive with a steering wheel or with a controller, though. It's The keyboard's kind of rough. Yeah. Right, I'm coming up to a garage. Do you think I should stop and put some more fuel in? I would. You're way low. Maybe maybe check the oil, too. And check the fan belt while you're there. Yeah. Wow, I love that. The graphics look really cool. How do I get to... Oh, no! Labs! Oh, God! Gentle motions. Gentle motions. You don't need to... Are you sure that's the way you're supposed to go? Well, this is the way it was telling me to go to the gas station. Okay. Oh, cool. Good job. I hope Sandy is all right. She is getting old. Aya. Guma is older, but you don't see me complaining. Don't forget to fill up the petrol and oil before we leave. Mechanic. Be sure he doesn't rip you off. Petrol and oil. No problem, come to the pump. We'll fill the car and put the oil in for you. It doesn't cost extra. What do you need? I need some oil. And I need some petrol. Okay. Thanks for buying local. And then I'm no, I think... Hmm? Don't you have to fill it up, though, or does it fill up automatically? It fills it up automatically. Okay. So we'll go and see if there's any repairs that need doing. Oh, check, check car. 
It's moderate. Engine is moderate. Check the fan belt. 